National STEM Day, a time to encourage kids, especially girls, to explore science, technology, engineering, and math. The truth is women are grossly underrepresented in STEM fields. We make up half the U.S. workforce, but only 27% of STEM workers. Uh, but we are making progress, y'all. 50 years ago, it was only 8%. So, <laughs> back with another STEM experiment you can try at home is Philip Cook, better known as Kim Teacher Phil. Give it up! Great to see you again. Great to see you as well. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We love you. Okay, so why is STEM so important for all kids? I think we want the best for our kids, right? Yeah. We want to prepare them for what they're going to see in their life ahead when they become adults. Yeah. And I think for them, they need to be problem solvers and critical thinkers. So STEM activities that we can do with them at an early age help set the stage for them to be successful. Promotes that. Yeah, yeah, that foundation. I like that. So wait, what are we learning today on stage? So today we're going to be do, doing an experiment that's all about the S in STEM. Okay. So we're going to be doing a science, science. experiment. Okay. And it's a pretty simple experiment that you guys can do at home as well to celebrate tomorrow, which is going to be National STEM Day. And that. you just need three things. So you're going to need a microwave like this. Okay. You will need some paper, which we've got paper up here. Yep. And a pilot friction pen, which has special thermosensitive ink. Oh, I'm sorry. The go-to erasable pen of the Kelly Clarkson show? Is that, <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> They're great pens. Um, how do we, no, I actually they're, love They're them. the go-to pen in my we, class, too. My kids is. love them. They I love actually them. love them. I'm yeah. so stoked, partner. So um, <laughs> how do we use them in the experiment? So what we're going to be doing is an experiment where we learn about microwaves, like how a microwave works. So we're going to be using the ink, which will disappear when, it, when it's heated, to be able to tell us where it's hot and where it's not in a microwave. Because believe it or not, microwaves don't do the best job of evenly heating foods. You'll know this if you've ever had a frozen burrito, and you stick it in the microwave, and one, is fro one part's frozen, and the other part's like molten lava. This is like my childhood with Hot Pockets. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You burn your tongue on the outside, and then in the middle, I'm like, how is this still ice? I don't know, yeah. But one of your stagehands, uh, Marcel, Marcel he's a, made a great picture He's for so us. talented. Yeah, look at that. I love that he made Angry Blake. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he used pilot friction pens for this. Yeah. So what we're gonna see, hopefully, is wherever this part of the paper gets hot, the thermosensitive ink is going to disappear. Okay. And we're just gonna see what that looks like. Okay, Marcel, you're so gifted. God, you Where can draw it? so well. We saw him on K, yeah, <laughs> okay. he's incredible. Okay, so we're putting it in there? Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't take long, so when you're doing this at home, just... Okay. You wanna take the tray out. Okay. We've already done that. I kinda of noticed that, and I was like, are you yeah. missing something? But you don't okay, want that was it to move, or else you kind of ruin... Oh, I get practice. it, I get it, I get it. Let's see how much of Blake is left. <laughs> Prediction? How to make Blake disappear. I've been working on this experiment for years. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. Oh, my Look. gosh. Yeah. It's just a head of hair. Yeah. So here's what's interesting about that. You can see there's some spots where there's still clearly ink. That's where it didn't get hot enough. Yeah. And if you think about it like this, you see hot spot, cold spot, hot spot, cold spot. Well, if you know that a microwave is a wave, it kind of goes like this. Oh. The high part of the wave and the low part of the wave, those are what make the molecules in food, like the fat, the protein, the water, yeah. and the jiggle. And right. when they kind of hit against one another, that translates into heat. So here they got hot, here they were not. I love that. OK. But now this is without the tray. OK. So now we can actually see why it has to be in there. OK. So we're going to take this part out. So we're taking that, OK. And we're going to put the tray back in and see why most microwave ovens have to have something that rotates the food. Are we making him completely disappear? This is the best okay. magic ever. No spoilers. <laughs> we'll get, let it go for about uh, 20? 10 or 15. Well, I okay. set it for 20, but week of the week. We might take it out? OK. Yeah. What do you think's going to happen? In my heart? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's just going to be gone. All of it. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And then I'm going to send it to him. <laughs> But the, okay, wait. There's something else that's cool about this ink. Okay. You can cool it down and make the ink come back. I'll show you that here. Who needs to do that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, if you look. Oh my gosh. A lot wait, more of it's gone. Can we talk about that two pages hanging on right there? Yeah. Like that's like, that's crazy. So this is the reason why when you're using a microwave that you want to make sure the food's on the edges. So if you put a plate of spaghetti oh. in here, it's going to be nice and warmed up here, but right here near the toupee. Yeah. That's where it's going to be icy cold. OK. Yeah. OK, how do you make it? Are you going to make it come back? I think we should. OK. So it relies upon temperature. OK. Hot to make it disappear, and we're going to make it really cold. Now, 
if you're at home and you try this experiment, you could try it by just sticking in the freezer for a little bit. Okay. And the coldness of the freezer will make the ink come back. But we're going to use, Oh, I need because I'm a chemistry teacher, okay. we're going to use something a little bit more intense. This we're is where we look glasses. really hot, man. Yeah. This is where it'd turn on America right now. This is right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Pilot friction erasable go-to pen of the Kelly Clarkson show. Okay. So we've got some dry ice in here, solid okay. carbon dioxide, which is really cold, about negative 79 Celsius. Totally. Negative 110 Fahrenheit. I, I knew that. I was just making sure you did. So, yeah. It was a quiz. Was a yeah, quiz. yeah. So we're just going to dump some. Okay. Try not get you with it. Okay. On top of Blake. Okay. And we're going to let it sit for a second. <laughs> we're dumping on Blake? Okay. <laughs> this is the greatest episode. <laughs> It now, does start to come back. It's starting to come back. So we see him starting to come back. And then normally if we use our hand and warm it up. He's all happy playing guitar again. Look at that. Back to normal. God's country. <laughs> back. There you go. Thank you so much, Kim You're Teacher welcome. Phil. This is so cool. I Literally love science. Cool. It is it is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Be sure to follow him on TikTok at Kim Teacher Phil and check out kellyclarksonshow.com for more friction experiments you can try on National STEM Day.